You may have gone to your local nutrition store or online and seen a lot of different options when it comes to whey proteins. There's whey concentrates, isolates, and hydrolysates, and it can be a bit overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm here to help you break it all down today. Now actually, all three start the same way, with liquid raw whey. Now if you don't know where raw whey comes from, click on the link below to watch. So raw whey contains protein, fat, lactose, and important peptide fractions. This raw whey needs the lactose and fat filtered out, leaving a higher concentration of proteins. When this filtering process reaches 80% protein content, you have what is known as a whey protein concentrate, or WPC. This is a quality whey protein with high amounts of protein fractions. It tastes great and is an amazing value. Now, if you take that same whey concentrate and continue to filter out more of the lactose and fat, you would eventually get to an ultra-refined whey protein isolate, or WPI. In this pure form, it's more readily and easily digested. Now, as pure as a whey isolate is, there's one more additional step that can be taken. By using special protease enzymes, the bonded amino acids that make up the protein are broken apart into smaller protein fractions. Now, breaking apart the protein into smaller fractions, it makes the proteins even easier and faster to digest. This protein is called a whey protein hydrolysate, or WPH. Your body would break apart the proteins in a similar fashion during digestion, and that's why a hydrolysate is sometimes called a pre-digested protein. So, to recap, a whey concentrate typically contains 80% protein, offering the best value, an isolate is ultra pure at 90% protein, and a hydrolysate undergoes one additional step to make it more easily digested. So depending on your goals and budget, this will determine which whey protein is right for you.